Hey there, welcome back to another exciting video. Today we're diving deep into engine code P0069, which is manifold absolute pressure, barometric pressure correlation. So what exactly does the engine code P0069 mean? Well, P0069 indicates a correlation error between the manifold absolute pressure sensor and the barometric pressure sensor, typically related to inconsistencies in the data provided by these sensors. Let's dive into the symptoms of a sneaky little trouble code, P0069. This code might be tiny, but trust me, it can cause some serious headaches under the hood. So let's break it down one symptom at a time. All right, let's start with number one, check engine light illuminated. The check engine light illuminates when there is an issue with the engine management system. A persistent P0069 code may trigger the check engine light to turn on, indicating a problem with the MAP sensor and the barometric pressure sensor. Now on to number two. The activation of the P0069 code can disrupt the engine control module's ability to receive accurate sensor data related to air pressure. This data is crucial for calculating the intake air density necessary to maintain the optimal air fuel ratio at 14.5 parts of air to one part of fuel. As a result, the engine may experience rough running or hesitation affecting its overall performance. Number three, visible exhaust emissions. Yep, we're talking about visible exhaust emissions. When your car is dealing with a P0069 code, it can mess with the air fuel mixture, causing it to go lean or rich. And when that happens, you might start seeing visible smoke coming from your tailpipe. In number four, we're talking about engine stalling. When your car is grappling with a P0069 code, it can cause intermittent stalling episodes. It's like your engine's playing a game of hide and seek with its power source. Let's talk about number five, lack of power. Ever feel like your car's lost its mojo, especially when you're trying to kick it into high gear? Well, that could be because of the P0069 code. When this code rears its ugly head, it messes with the air-fuel ratio, which in turn affects how much fuel gets to your engine. And when your engine isn't getting the fuel it needs, you'll feel it in the form of sluggish acceleration and an overall lack of power. Number six, do you ever feel like you're spending more time at the gas pump than you used to? Well, that could be because of the P0069 code. This is because the inaccurate data from either the MAP or Barrow sensor disrupts the proper regulation of the air-fuel ratio by the engine control module. As a result, the engine may not receive the optimal fuel mixture, leading to wastage or improper utilization of fuel. So what causes the engine code P0069? When your car throws a P0069, it's basically saying the ECM is unable to validate the information provided by the MAF and Barrow sensor. Now, there are a few things that could be causing this. We're talking electrical problems, faulty map or Barrow sensor, and even issues with a vacuum pressure clog. Let's break it down one by one. First up, we've got electrical wire issues. This covers a range of problems like dodgy connections in electrical connectors, wires that are frayed or broken, blown fuses, losing the ground, switches that have gone haywire, or even issues with wires that were repaired in the past. Basically, anything that messes with the flow of electricity through the wiring system can set off the P0069 code. Number two, faulty MAP sensor. A defective MAP sensor may generate non-correlated data with the barometric pressure sensor, triggering the P0069 code. If the P0069 is caused by a faulty MAP sensor, it's important to check for other OBD2 codes related to a faulty MAP sensor. Later in this video, we'll cover the OBD2 faults that may be accompanied by P0069. And coming in at number three, a malfunctioning Barrow sensor may produce non-correlated data with a manifold absolute pressure sensor, triggering the P0069 code. If a faulty Barrow sensor causes P0069, it's crucial to check for other OBD2 codes related to Barrow sensor issues. Check the video description for OBD2 codes related to faulty Barrow sensor. And coming in at number four, plugged vacuum line between the intake manifold and MAP sensor. An obstruction can disrupt the flow of vacuum pressure, leading to inaccurate readings by the MAP sensor and triggering the diagnostic trouble code. The P0069 code may be accompanied by various other OBD2 codes. It is important to find the root cause of P0069 to diagnose effectively. Reading other codes that come with the P0069 code may help in finding the root cause. The list of related codes is long, therefore we have provided this information in the description with their meanings. Check in the description for more details. 
Now, how to diagnose and fix the P0069 code? When it comes to diagnosing and fixing the P0069 code, it's all about pinpointing issues with the MAP and Barrow data correlation. Diagnosing the P0069 code typically requires specialized diagnostic tools and equipment. However, there are some methods you can try yourself to diagnose and potentially fix the issue. The first method entails thoroughly inspecting for any issues in the connection of these sensors. In this method, the diagnosis involves inspecting the electrical wiring related to the MAP and Barrow sensor for any signs of damage, such as frayed wires, loose connections, or corroded terminals. Additionally, check the fuses related to the, these three sensors. If any issues are found, replace any damaged wiring, tighten loose connections, and replace any blown fuses. Method 2. In this process, if the P0069 code is suspected to be caused by faulty sensors, inspect for any signs of a bad sensor. To diagnose the issue, visually inspect each of these sensors one by one for any signs of dirt, debris, or damage. If you observe any dirt or debris, clean it. If there are any signs of damage, replace the sensor with a new one. Finally, to prevent the occurrence of the P0069 code, it's important to implement routine maintenance and take proper care. Here are some preventative measures. Change the air filter according to the manufacturer's recommendations to prevent clogs and airflow restrictions in the intake system. Opt for high quality air filters to ensure efficient filtration and airflow in the intake system. Periodically inspect the vacuum lines, connections, and components for wear, clog, or damage. Clean any debris or buildup to maintain proper vacuum pressure. Ensure the fuse box and associated electrical components are inspected and maintained regularly. Clean any corrosion or buildup that may affect electrical connections and functionality.